Today we're going to show you how to change the condenser fan motor on your refrigerator. It's actually a pretty easy job. You are going to need a few tools, a quarter inch and 5 16 snuck driver, a utility knife, a roll of electrical tape, a pair of wire strippers, needle nose pliers, and a small thin blade screwdriver. Let me show you how it's done. Now the first step in replacing the condenser fan motor will be to gain access to it. It's located at the rear of the refrigerator. So we'll need to pull the refrigerator out, disconnect the water supply if necessary, and of course, disconnect the electrical supply. Now most people don't realize that this cardboard cover at the back is an integral part of the refrigerator and that it controls airflow. So if it's damaged, either have it replaced, make a new one, whichever is required. We'll next need to remove seven quarter inch hex head screws and hold the cover in place. Remove the cover, set it to the side. Condenser fan motor is located right here. There's a two wire harness on this particular model, but check your installation instructions that came with the part for the version that you might have. It's also held in place with three quarter inch hex head screws that hold the whole bracket that holds the motor. There's also three screws on the back of the motor that we find it's easier to take three bracket screws out first remove the whole assembly, and then take the motor off the bracket. Now the location, there's one here at the bottom, one at the top, at the very back, and then there's one inside, closer to the bottom. All three need to be removed. Next, we'll need to disconnect the wire harness plug. There's a little locking tab. So you can just take a small blade screwdriver, insert there to lift the tab up. and separate the harness. Now, next we're going to lift that motor through the opening here in the rear and try very careful not to damage the fan blades. We're going to remove the fan, it's held in place with one Kleps nut, and the motor is held to the bracket with three 5 16 hex head screws. Now that we have the condenser fan motor and bracket assembly removed from the refrigerator, we can go about changing the motor. Now the first thing we'll want to do is take the fan off, with a pair of needle nose pliers, we'll take that Kleps nut, turn it counterclockwise. We get it loose and then we can spin it off by hand. Slide the flame blade off of the motor. Set that aside. Next we're ready to remove the motor from the bracket. Take note of where the wire harness is. It's coming out where the, the two closer arms one in the upper position. And those are held in place by a 5 16 hex head screw.
remove all three of the screws, lift the bracket off of the motor. Now we are going to want to save this wire harness from this motor because on this particular refrigerator, that version requires using a two wire harness. So we'll just cut that off with a pair of wire cutters. Now that we've clipped the harness off of the old motor, we want to carefully strip back all oh, about three eighths of an inch to half inch of the insulation. It's a fairly light gauge wire. We'll make sure that we don't accidentally cut into the copper. We just want to remove the insulation. So with our wire strippers, we'll use about the number 16 gauge wire portion of it. And again, be very careful that we don't cut into the copper. It doesn't give us a lot of lead room to work with here. Now with our new motor, we'll do the same thing. We'll strip the wire back. We'll take our morettes. And you'll note on the wire harness that one of the wires will be ribbed both on the piece that we cut off of the old motor and our new motor. That would indicate the rib one indicates a neutral wire, so we'll tie those two together. Twist the copper conductors together and then install the morette. tightly as you can get that morette on. Do the same with the remaining two wires. Make sure they're twisted firmly together. Install our second morette. Now it's a good idea to put a little bit of electrical tape around both of these morettes so that they don't have any chance of coming loose. Now that we have our new connector on the motor, we're ready to install the motor to the bracket. Keeping in mind that the um, motor bracket sits in place more or less in that configuration. We want to keep the wire harness towards this leg. The kit supplies you with three new 5 16 hex head screws. Next, we'll install the fan blade. And this applies with a new speed nut or Kleps nut. Tighten that with a pair of pliers. Now it's a good idea to take the harness, a little bit of electrical tape, and shorten that up a bit, tape it to one of the arms of the bracket so that it doesn't have to run a chance of getting into the blade. Now we're ready to install the new condenser motor and bracket back into the refrigerator. Before we reinstall the new condenser fan motor, it's a good opportunity to take a vacuum cleaner and clean out all of this area. Typically they'll build up with pet hair and dust bunnies and it's a good opportunity to clean that out. Now before we install the motor, we'll take note that two arms in this bracket are a little closer together. Those are the two that will be at the very back of the refrigerator, so it'll sit in and in this configuration. 
Again, take care not to damage the fan blades as we put the motor in place. start the screws by hand first. Once we line up the bracket arms. Next, we'll reinstall the harness. Make sure it locks in place. sure that the fan is not hitting on anything. We're ready to reinstall the rear cover. Next, we'll reinstall the water line, check for leaks, plug the refrigerator in, and our repair is complete. That's just how easy it is to change the condenser fan motor kit on your refrigerator. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.